So welcome back to Motorting Mastery in 2020. It's been a good month since I've posted a new video, I think. I'm in uh, India right now, go on the west coast. And I uh, wanted to uh, upload this goodness of a video. Actually, um, I don't know if I'll be able to upload it because uh, the internet here is so bad. So uh, we'll see how it flows in the coming weeks and how many more I, could, uh, I, can, I can get up there. But, um, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, uh, I've been through a journey of healing my motor tick, my chronic complex condition that I have for a very long time. I was ticking all the way down the right hand side of my body, my, my eye, my, my neck, my shoulder, my jaw, my whole arm, my wrist for many, many years. And on this channel I share, um, I share ideas on the healing journey to help you guys uh, let go of your condition too if you want to it's really if you want to because it does take a little bit of commitment a lot of people are looking for a, a quick win like one pill to take or one supplement that will suddenly stop the condition sadly i spent 20 years looking for one thing to make it magically go away and it i couldn't find it so it took a little bit of uh, consistent effort focus and work and that was through a mixture of uh, Eastern practices, for example, mindfulness on a regular basis to still the mind, yoga to become more embodied inside my beingness versus my body being out of whack and doing things by itself. If you spend more time in your body, your awareness inside your body, more present with yourself, then the body doesn't have the opportunity to do things by itself, you know. And also panayama, which is the art of breath, the use of breath to move energy through your body and your mind, uh, to, um, to affect all sorts of uh, aspects of your neurological system and your nervous system, all this stuff and all the science I don't fully understand. All I know is that it has helped heal something that was causing me a lot of embarrassment, pain, tiredness, stress, anxiety for 20 years of my life. So what is it that I would like to share with you in this video here now today? Let's tune in. The unconscious mind is really quite powerful. And so when I still myself, when I listen to the thoughts in my mind, I have like a, there's like a resonance behind the thoughts of like, this feels like a good thought to share. This doesn't feel like a good thought to share. We call that um, our intuition, or we can call that our heart's truth. We can call it <clears throat> that the thing that is uh, really deep inside us that we know to be true. But we get confused because our mind is out of whack. Our mind is running the show. Our constricting thoughts, our painful ideas, our, uh, our like uh, uh, stories that send us on trajectories of pain, um, which happens to us a lot if we have this condition, if we have a motor tooth, because it, our body is out of control, because our mind is out of control. And when we start listening to the subtle differences between our thoughts that come from mind versus our knowingnesses that comes from our heart, once you understand the difference in your thoughts, where they come from, then you're on the path of learning to let go of this condition. And there's a very subtle art. It takes time, it takes a bit of work, it takes some stillness to learn what feels good to listen to, what feels good and right to follow. But what I'm talking to you about is, you know, might feel or sound quite advanced because you just want the freaking tick to stop, don't you? <laughs> and I get it. You know, the, the tick can stop and will stop if you just slow down. And I mean, when I mean slow down, I mean, yeah, slow down what you're doing, slow down how you're thinking, slow down just all aspects of your experience of, as, as a human. <laughs> that's what I mean like the more we really learn to just slow down what's going on in this crazy mind we get to really listen and hear our unconscious 
as I did at the beginning of this conversation, I asked myself, what is it that I'd like to tune into you and talk to you about? And I slowed down. I didn't need to do anything. I didn't need to feel or say anything. I just slowed down and stopped. And in that stillness, I had this movement to share something. And that's where these words are now coming from. So, the tick is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It might not seem like it to you in this moment in time whatsoever because it's really quite painful in your life. It's causing a lot of grief. Um, and what I used to find is that I couldn't actually express that pain to other people because they didn't get it. They didn't get how much like mental sort of just stories and patterns and pain I was in inside my mind and my body was just out of control and I was trying to suppress it, push it down, but it was all over the place. But as we continue to still our mind, to make our mental and our emotional health, um, let's say, uh, a higher priority in our life, versus running around just like a headless chicken, like the monkey mind, as it were. The more the body slows down too, the more the ticks subside too, because we are taking sovereign ownership over our, over our life, over our body and our mind. Even you tuning in and watching this video, you're getting a transmission, you're getting a download, you're listening intently, you are feeling the resonance, the emotions behind what I'm saying. And your unconscious is digesting it, even if some of the words don't really make logical sense or you're questioning some of it. It's okay. There's something that is being absorbed by your being because you're listening to me and you're intrigued and interested in there's something that he's saying that feels right. And so I'm continuing to listen. And this is true because we are fundamentally at the essence of our soul, vibrations, we are energy. Wow, I've probably lost about half of you right now. But that's the truth, right? Science tells us we are living in one big, quantum field of potentiality and uh, infinite possibility so although we are physical beings as well it's a physical body we are also energy and so when you are looking at somebody else watching somebody else and hearing somebody else the words yeah okay the words help you have to be open to the words but also like there is a energetic transmission happening too now i'm in india you might be thinking i've lost the plot i'm in india he's turned into a hippie oh my god how can this guy help me? What's, he's not tuned into the real world. Oh, I am. The real world gave me the tick. And I've actually learned how to get rid of the tick by allowing myself to see the real world from a slight distance. And from just stepping out and seeing it from a slight distance, I can see where and why this tick was created in my being for 20 years. <clears throat> so, I think the dogs have spoken. My breakfast has arrived. So it's time to, uh, to enjoy some of this deliciousness with this. Oh, look at this, we've got eggs, we've got, we got masala chai, we've got watermelon, um, and, and, and this is Anna Hatton, my partner. Say hi, thank you. And uh, so yeah, so all is well. Um, I wish you the best on this journey. Keep watching my videos to stay in tune with uh, some new downloads that will be coming again in 2022. And um, I'm in the process right now of, uh, of uh, preparing a new online course for uh, parents of children who have ticks and Tourette's. Because there's little support for parents out there. Like, uh, uh, Yet it's the parents themselves that are with the child 24-7, usually, many hours a day. Maybe not 24-7 because the kids go to school and things, but they are the primary caregivers and the primary educators. And so the kids learn a lot about their mental and emotional health that they download from their, their parents. They understand, like, they, 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 they're basically learning from their parents as the main caregivers. And so to think that the parents uh, aren't at all partly responsible for the mental and emotional health of the child would be missing the point. They really are. 
And if the parents aren't uh, uh, aware or looking after their mental emotional health, then their state of being is going to be passed down to their kids. And then they ask, well, the kids, the, the kids are having mental and emotional health issues. They've got ticks, their body's out of control. It's going crazy. And they don't think they've got anything to do with it. And so that's something which I want to be sharing in this new course and um, to help the parents look after their health better so that they can look after their children better so the child doesn't grow up with, it, with this condition as I did. So, and we're on a mission here. Okay, my dears, have a wonderful day. Catch you soon. Ciao.